Hello, fans. I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague, Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the Xavier Musketeers and the Georgia Bulldogs. Number 33 is the key guy on this team. He's definitely someone we're going to watch out for tonight. This kid provides the sparks in offense and defense for his squad, Brad. You can't find a more valuable player to his team. The Bulldogs will certainly want to take advantage of his presence on the floor. The Bulldogs are assured of a tough battle tonight, Dick. What's uh, the key for them to succeed? Here's what I think, Brad. First of all, pound the ball inside. Challenge their big men. Second of all, beware of turnovers. Protect the basketball. You want to minimize the amount of free possessions that you give to the opposition. Third, grab the boards, baby. Make it a habit. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. First one, good. Both free throws go. Try to go inside. Teague handles the pass. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. They move it into the front court. Good job defensively. Nothing going to come easy tonight, baby. They are really playing for keeps. Moving it around the perimeter. Gave it up. He squares up down in the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position if he drives. He gets the rejection. The ball goes out of play. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. 10 on the shot clock. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect that they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow them to get to the baseline. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Dumps it in. That's exactly what they expect from him. That young man is doing some great things for this program, Dick. Every college coach in America would love a player like him, Mr. Nesla. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Trying to feed inside. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Steele, go up the other way, get a layup. Jumps in. He puts it in with contact and all. The replay's not even enough for this one. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looking for the foul. Perfectly executed. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Wow, what hops, baby. What hops. Pitt fakes the shot. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Oh, 
Arrington handles the feed. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. I'm sorry, Brad, but this young fella seems to be their only hope at the moment. Thinks about the shot. Pump fakes. The and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Working it around the perimeter. In the paint. He launches the bomb. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. Great play to take that to the basket. For two, can't get the shot to go. And he scores it off the glass. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. Dump it inside. He's got some room. Dick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Gant receives the ball. Too physical. We thought this game would be a sellout, Dick, and it's not. I'll tell you, a lot of empty seats here. It's only half full. He's got a high post flasher. Here's the toss back out from the post. I'll tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Nick, he's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And the ball goes out of play. Controlling the ball. They look to get it to the inside. The ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. On the outside, Pitt receives the pass. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Arrington is feeling great out there right now. Hey, whether you win or lose, you shouldn't be afraid to show your emotions. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. If you watch it again, it's even better. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Jumped in front to take it away. They'll work it around the arc. And the fans here are loving the action. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. They work the perimeter. Launches the three. Makes the shot. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. He shoots from right of the circle, off the rim and no good. Picks off the pass. And the ball goes out of bounds.
Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Looking for a good shot. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball in the deck. Where's he going? The shot from the baseline. Makes it. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Working around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribble in act here and turns it over. He shoots from the top of the key. Sinks the shot. That's seven unanswered. On the inside. Gotta take some flight on the defensive end. That's good. Look at these fans, they're loving it. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call it the six man for no reason. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. On the dribble, gives it up. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. My goodness, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Lobs it. Trying to draw some contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. Spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Double team now, bad angle. Stolen away. Buries it. He blocks the shot, looking for a good shot. Newton's mediocre play has really gotten to him. Hey, well, offensively, he's probably not feeling it. Defensively, gets up to make the block. The ball goes out of play. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. Gave it up. There's a bad pass right to the defender. High post flasher is open. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Leans in. He hits it. Let's get a replay, baby. Basketball got a little too fancy, too much mustard there, baby. You betcha. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. 
He uses the shot fake. Here's a double team. Boy, terrible execution on offense. From right in the circle. Oh, yes. From the top of the circle. And he hits the three. Up and inside. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. For the bucket. They still don't score. Looking for contact. Up and in. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Gave it up. And they come with a double team to stop it. And they get the turnover. Now on the run the other way. Georgia have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. There was no doubt about that one. Stolen away. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. And the ball goes out of play. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. Nice move with a face-up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. And run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Layup sign. I'm telling you, Brad, you can have a field day against these guys. Let's put a uniform on. Nobody within 10 feet of an easy basket again. I mean, unbelievable. Let's blow out City. City now always really negate any offense. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. Isn't it great, Brad? Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The skip pass is picked off. The ball goes out of bounds. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. He can't buy one. He hits the second shot.
Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. On the dribble, gives it up. With a rejection. Perfectly executed. He intercepts it. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Coming out of the timeout, I'd expect we're going to see more focused play on both sides. One would assume so. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. To the line. And there they miss one. He brings it down. Picked out of the air. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. charge. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Here's a flash from the high post. Up and inside. And now with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball, seals the defense off, and explodes to the basket. The student body is rocking tonight. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Up fake. There's the trap. Gave it up. He attempts the three. He gets the bucket to fall. Are you kidding me? Show me how he did that. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Picked off. Three. And he misses the shot. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He shoots from left of the circle. Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. And that 
that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charm. Now they work it around the perimeter. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. He fouled him. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. With the freebie. Makes his first. Hits the second. He tries to beat the clock from half court. The ball goes out of play. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. At the half, the Bulldogs are up by 21. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. Georgia is shooting very well from the floor right now, Dick. They're getting good looks, man, and they're not letting them go to waste. That's how you win games, man. Offensive execution. Dick, start of the second half. We take a look at our focus player, and he's going to have to be the man to come through. I think you got to set some screens for him, a little double screens. He's a great shooter, but he's not getting the opportunity. I think his teammates have to screen for him. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Double team now, bad angle. Fakes the shot. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. On the dribble, gives it up. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Puts it up, looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. He drains the bucket. Let's look at it again. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Takes it off him. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they're allowed to convert. Get the number game going. Pitt handles the pass for two. And off the mark. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Steals a pass. Gave it up. Now the high screen. It sticks. The Musketeers trail by 21. 
This is college basketball at its best, Dick. It's electrifying in here. Stolen away. What a great strip. Goes up for two. Whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Working it around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. For the bucket, he hits the shot. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper, way off target. Got the high pick. He shoots from the top of the key. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. On the outside, got some room. And now they'll bring it up. He attempts the trifecta. Not there. Right in the circle. Rucker drains the three-pointer. He's going to see this guy in his sleep tonight, Dick. He's already living a nightmare, Brad. There's a double team waiting there. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Poor decision there to shoot that three. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. For two, they still don't score. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He goes to the line. Hits the first. That's a 10-0 run. It to go. That's an 11 0 run. We get ready to bounce back into action here. Start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon, MBN. Launches away. The Bulldogs have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lead. Anticipating really well. On the dribble, gives it up. Here we go on the break. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Oh, oh. 
High post screen. Looking for a good shot. Looks at a three. He's got to pass those off there. He doesn't trust his teammates, Brad. Taken away. Now it comes the other way. My goodness. Players these days in their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on it. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Drains the shot. Outside jumper. Got it. The Musketeers are trailing by 30. Intercepted. With a quarterback pass. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, I'm standing right behind the bench, and his teammates are trying to get him going. Although they hold the lead, they know their chances of winning without him playing well are very slim. We'll continue to monitor his performance the rest of the way, Brad. Thanks, Aaron. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a double team. He takes it away. And back they come the other way. Good athletic move. Very athletic. He's got great athleticism. Sets a screen for his teammate. Kicks it out. He unloads. Ten on the shot clock. The Musketeers have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Number 42 with the fake. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Here they come now on a turnover. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The Bulldogs football team is usually the one in the spotlight. They definitely receive a lot of football support, but it's great to see the same folks at the basketball games. Tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Now they work it around the perimeter. For the bucket, he drains the shot. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing the ball. Defense got it after knocking it loose. Fakes a jumper. Now the turnaround jumper. The Musketeers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. You can't forget about them. The winning rumor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport.
Takes the pass in the paint. Jumps into the defender. And he scores despite the hack. Gave it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. He shoots from downtown. Gets it to fall. That's a 7-0 run. Picks off the pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. That's a 12 zip run. We'll see if they've decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. Teague in the paint. There they come with a double team to stop it. It's stolen. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. That's a 14-0 run. Two, perfectly executed. Picked out of the air. On the outside. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The Musketeers are down by 24. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Trying to draw the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Steals a pass. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Steals the ball. Look at speed. I'll tell you, man. There's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. He shoots from the top of the circle. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Takes it off him. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help soft. Nice shot. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. 
All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Picks off the lazy pass. Cross court. Intercepted. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. With the fake. There's the trap. From downtown, he gets it to fall. On the dribble, gives it up. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I think did a great job creating a good angle too, but he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. For two. I did not waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Gave it up. On the inside. Double team now, Matt Angler. On the dribble, gives it up. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He intercepts it. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position, spreading his body and getting the ball. Picked off. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Here's a double team. Strips the ball. They push it up on the break. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. Gave it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And off the mark. There's the fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Dick, I don't know if the glass is half empty or half full, but it's about half full in here. Yeah, it's about half full right now. That doesn't give you that emotional setting that you like as a home court. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Makes those free throws count. He wants to go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. High post screen, going to use it. He puts it in with contact and all. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Robs him of the ball. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. 
Fake. From right in the circle. Off the rim and no good. And a momentary look from three-point land. That's going to be a five-second call. Credit that to the defense. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything has fallen into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. They're definitely having some fun out there. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Well, the game's over now. It's easy to look back at your focused player and say that you maybe picked the wrong focused player. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. It's so essential for the star player to really respond. He didn't respond at all in a positive way, and it affected his teammates as well. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Georgia showed back.